Hello everyone. Today I've had a request for some information on engraving an image that is already in the SVG format. So I will pull this image in. And this is the image that was sent to me. Now, because this is an SVG, SVG is already a vector format file. So technically this image we can actually send directly to the laser, which I will show here. As you can see, it comes in in a vector format already. And if we were to switch this to a scan cut, I'm just going to adjust some settings here quick and go into preview you would see that it's going to etch basically the entire background of the image without doing the letters or anything that's basically showing in black. Now, if you wanted the reverse of this, you would go back into Corel Draw, and at this point we need to right click on this image and say ungroup all. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to click and grab and see what part of this image is actually um, separated so to speak. In this case it looks like these images that these lines here are still grouped. In Corel Draw, there's another way of linking lines and drawings to each other and that's by um, combining them as a curve. Well, in this case, we're going to break the curve apart. Now you see all of the stuff disappears. So I'm going to highlight this all and I'm going to right click on white. Sorry, right click on black so I can see everything. And you can see this outline. Now, because I broke those curves apart, all of the different objects in this design are separate. So all you have to do to make this image engrave positive, basically, is remove that outside line. So now if we go back in here, and I'm going to group this again, like so so that it all moves as one image and send it back to RD Works. Now you'll see that the only thing that that outline is gone. So now if we go into our simulation again, again set it to scan 600 and do a preview when I do the simulation on it, you'll see that the letter parts are engraved. So that's how you can get a reverse image. If you actually had something like this where you wanted the reverse image of it, then simply all you would have to do is draw a line around it and send, make sure that the line is the same layer color as the rest of the uh, drawing and send it along to your laser with that outline border and then you would wind up getting the reversed image. Hopefully that helps. Have a great day.